Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, nail artist and educator here. I hope you have waited for this video. We are going to play with some Christmas designs. Have a preview of it in here. I will try to show you this year as many awesome designs as possible and I hope you will really really like it. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. Lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. Let's start! I've got the tips ready and we are going to play with some Christmas bubbles. So we are going to use 219. Uh, I have choose those pastel colors because we want the bubbles to be a little bit uh, more standing out and I thought uh, it will be a nice contrast. So we are painting it in that color. They're actually really fun to do it and you don't need like a really artistic skills to be able to complete this design. Uh, so it is really nice beginner friendly. Okay, cook it in. And then another tip, just the same color. I actually love the coverage of those uh, gel polishes. You can see it, if I would really try hard, I could do it in one coat. I'm going to do two very thin coats uh, on this ones. And then on the other two tips, we are going to paint 220. And I think for a winter time, it is a must half color because you can create so many beautiful um, design in those shades, like, uh, you know, all those wintery sets and Christmas neos, like an absolutely perfect color. And it goes with anything as well. So paint this one too. Got really lots of tutorials guys coming up for you. Uh, if the time allow us, we will try to post daily. So I've got the first two ready. So quickly just slap in the second coat. And I'm curing the gel polish is 60 seconds. So I didn't touch the product with my finger. I did touch it with the tip of my nail, which I'm going to clean it in a second. You never touch the products with your fingers and the skin. Okay, second coat on this one. Yeah, it's a definitely a perfect shade for those pastel Christmas. Okay, we can put it on the side, we don't need it anymore. And then the blue tips. So I've got one and the second one. I wonder if you already guys with the Christmas presents, I'm always terrible like leaving the things last minute, totally last minute, you know, most of the times I'm just getting organized on the 24th of December, <laughs> it's terrible. I mean, it's end up pretty good because cameraman helps a lot. So Olivia is packing the prezzies for a cameraman and then cameraman is packing the prezzies for Olivia. Mm, so I have to just do a kind of shopping. We never go overly crazy. I, I think it's, um, it's just the idea of, you know, spending time together and 
um, and it is all about the family rather than the prezies, but we wrap every single bead so it can be the smallest thing and we would still wrap it and uh, then go in the turns like uh, first Olivia will unwrap something, then Patrick, then me, and we just play like that. It's a really great time. Now for the branches we are going to use 207, so I'm just placing a small scoop of that product in there. And then I can take the first tip which is ready. Again, this isn't hard to paint the branches because uh, you've got a little bit of freedom uh, when it comes to that. So I'm going to use the D-liner brush. Some flying fluff. <laughs> D-liner brush and then we will paint some branches there. It can go quite... Uh, messy to be honest uh, because they are kind of messy so I'm usually starting with the line and then once I've got this line I'm just dragging the product to create those branches okay so I have painted two in here I'm going to paint a very small one on the bottom just a wee tiny one. And then cook it. So this one I want to go a bit lower. So lots of lots of wee lines. Actually don't bother if you've got um, the, the, the gel polish like going uh, see-through in some places. I think it looks pretty nice because it's not all the same. And then cook it. <clears throat> This one is nice and wavy. And the last one. So let's do it here and there and tiny one here. <laughs> So each time I usually do something slightly different. My brush almost feels hungry with all those lines. And I will show you how I'm fixing it in case if I would need it to paint something nicer, I would just roll it like this so it gets back into the shape. Okay, let's grab the first tip which we have uh, done and now start the fun. So we are going to use those uh, gold bits and pieces <clears throat> and we've got them uh, on our store as well. Also guys, you quite often ask me, do we post uh, to United States or somewhere else? Uh, we do post uh, our products internationally, so you can just get it, um, get them in like any country to be honest. Okay, I do like this one here. I'm sorry guys, I have put some cuticle oil because my nails are so dry, so I'm a bit clumsy. I love this one. So just grab one in and then we are going to secure all the things with the base gel. I find that base gel is just uh, fantastic uh, for the things. So just in there we are going to place those base gel and how I want this bubble. I want this bubble to go like this. You know, you cannot go wrong with the bubbles. Maybe even a little bit lower. Perfect. Let's cook it. And then grab another tip. So on this one, we are going to go with the bubble, which is maybe too small. 
Why not? Do I have some rounded ones? Let me check if I have... Yes, we do. Yeah, this is a perfect Christmas bubble set. <laughs> Unless I've got some smaller one in here. Okay, I've got some even smaller ones in there. Hmm, but it's a shame to waste them. I could use it for something else. Let me grab a large scoop of the base gel. Actually, this design f makes me feel really, really relaxed when I'm doing it. <laughs> so we are going to place some bubble here and there and there. So this one goes in here. Perfect. I think I will have no choice then. Oh, maybe. I will do one small and one large. Also, you can see it, they've come into, um, they've got a curve. So like, make sure you do pick it up in the right angle. So now this is quite nice and flat to the tip. And then I'm going to put a tiny one in here. I have no choice, I have to use this one unless I've got something in a spare box. I don't. I used to don't use those um, <coughs> gold bits and pieces because I thought like, oh, how they are going to last and everything. But honestly, the base gel, they are absolutely fantastic. I sometimes even find that they can last better than the gems, to be honest. Oh, that's so pretty already. So we've got three bubbles in here. And then on this one, what else, what shapes I've got in there? I've got a really large one, which I could use. Oh, this one, the oval one is really nice. So I do the design the, the things on the go. You know, I, I don't know what I'm going to do it often. <laughs> um, it's a kind of like, I design it on the go. There we are. And the last one. We can place it there. The last one I want it to be. I've got love heart sheep, but um, let's leave it for a uh, for a how do you call it Valentine's Day. I will go for this one because that's a large one. Yeah, perfect. Okay, you can see it. It doesn't fit in the tip nice at all. So what I need to do it, I need to bend it a little bit. And it's so kind of easy, I would say, to bend. And you can see it now it's nice and flat to the nail. And then cook it. Okay, step number two. We are going to add some uh, gems and branches, like the bubbles cannot fly, basically. So a thin line, clean the brush, pick up the caviar beads, and we've got them in different colors as well. So I'm just picking up the scoop of the caviar beads, Try to don't touch the, the box too much because then you will have it contaminated with the base gel. 
I love them for their size, like they are microscopic caviar meats. <laughs> Honestly, they are. Give it a cure. Okay, now we can take care of another one. So on this one we will go slightly different. I want to do some crystal placement on top and on the bottom of that as well, just because it's a quite nice regular shape. Okay, so I've got two crystals here and then smaller ones. Oh, that's so pretty. and then give them a flash cure. On this one, we are going to do a slightly different combination. Crystal placement is always so therapeutic. <laughs> Smaller ones. I actually don't like when the crystals boxes are too full because then it's harder to pick those gems when they've got just little, it's so easy. Okay, cook it. Oh, that's the fun one. <laughs> Since they're really small, I'm just going to use those tiny crystals there. Okay, on this one, just because I've got some room, we are going to use some star, which I should have somewhere here. On this one's just a caviar beads because they are so tiny. I 
I did some mistake in here. I didn't draw the base gel line, which makes the things more difficult now. So draw the base line first and then place your caviar beads. I'm doing a very gentle pressure each time when I'm picking them up. Okay, make sure they are in a nice straight line. Which can be quite time consuming sometimes. But they are so pretty. Okay, give it a flash cure so they don't move. Okay, I'm happy with this one, so let's do the next part. Take a drop of the base gel and then pick up some glitter. Since I've got the purple background in here, I'm going to go with this color of the glitter. And fill this in. Give it a cure. Clean my brush from the glitter. And just add more caviar beads. Last one. This one can be ready as well. What else you could do it is just pick up a couple of the caviar beads and finish it off with them. On this one, I also want to place some snowflake inside. I think it will look fantastic. Flash cure it. Okay, this one is almost ready. This one's need the glitter. And this one will need the glitter as well. We could also do the bow. Um, if you've got a triangle shape, uh, let me see if I've got it. I could show you on the one. Do I have, tri yes, I, oh, this one is too large. So basically to do the bow, could possibly use this ones, just to give you, or maybe here, just to give you another idea. So we've got a Christmas bubble with the bow. Oh, that's cute.
and the last one. Cook it. Okay, glitter on the other one. So here I think I'm going to go with some pink. So base gel, I will do pink here as well. Basically, you're just filling up your bubbles with the glitter. Okay, here. Now, don't ask me where I did get the glitter from. I have no clue. What I usually do is I get some nice glitter and then I just um, put it into the small pots so they're easier to store. Give it a flash cure. Here I'm going to use blue. I could use maybe a red as well. Let's do one red. No, red doesn't go on. Right, let's do it. Oh, it does go. I've got a mixture of the purple in there because I still had it on my brush. Try to work nice and clean. So get rid of that glitter. And then on this one, I need some dark color because, so that will be this purple here again. and some pink. You could also use some gel polishes if you don't have loose glitter. I usually find that the loose glitter is kind of sparklier. I'm just getting it to the edges and then give it a cook. Okay, step number two. So let me move all that. Grab some clear gel. So I'm using the fiber and clear. Clean the brush and then <laughs> pick up a small scoop of the gel to build up your bubble. So small scoop, get rid of those particles of the glitter. Don't make it too raised, like you don't want your clients to have two sticking out ones. And then cook it. On this one, I want to get some snowflake in. So place this in there. Sometimes you can also pick up a more glitter and fill up any other missing places. Um, when I do the liquid stones, um, I quite like to do it in two or even three layers. Then you get like kind of dimension. Um, you can also use a different colors of the glitters. And guys, this looks fantastic when you do play a little bit longer um, with it. You can see it like with those single particles, I'm cleaning up the edges. Like here is an empty space. I can just take the single bit of the glitter and fill it up. Yes, it is more time consuming, but that's kind of like uh, make the things really much, much prettier. And then we are going to use the snowflakes and we've got those snowflakes guys for you as well and, and store. I think they are super, super pretty. Uh, they come in different, uh, different shapes. 
I love this one. Oh, that's amazing. Like, that is really amazing. Cook it in. Oh, I love this snowflake. Now I, I think I'm going to place the snowflake on more of them. So let's do it here as well. And here. I think this one is my... That's so pretty. Yeah, the snowflake just finishes off. I should be placing the snowflake on all of them. <laughs> I will see if I can squeeze a snowflake here as well. So here I will go with the light. No. So if I want the snowflakes to be visible, I will need to use a darker glitter, but I don't want to use the darker glitter. Um, let's do it light glitter. Pink, very light pink. Oh, this one is cool. Cook it in. And then a couple last steps. They're so pretty. I love them actually, guys. So we need to grab those um, clear gel and now encapsulate everything. So encapsulate that snowflake. Check the edges. This is perfect. Of course we have to put some snow on the branches as well. Guys, if you're trying those Christmas bubbles, hashtag Dorota Palicka on Instagram, or there is a Facebook group which cameraman has opened it where you can easily share your um, your work in there. Like, I think I had some comments like that it doesn't allow to tag me. So on my private profile, I've got switched off tagging, uh, but we've got the group for everyone, uh, which was created by a cameraman. You can see how much it changes as well. Like it kind of enlarged the particles of the glitter. Look how much prettier it is after we put the uh, clear gel over it. Um, and you can see it, I didn't make it really raised as, as nice and tiny. Cameraman is zooming like a crazy and my cuticles are so terrible. <laughs> I have been like a crazy, crazy last few weeks for us, like very stressful as well. Uh, yeah, life is like never all this, all this year. I know life is never easy. Oh, guys. Like one disaster after another disaster. Oh, this one is amazing. And this one is done. OK, perfect. So our next step is to clean up and then top coat it. Okay, so next step, there we are. I have also top coated in the meantime because we was running low on the battery. Um, I have top coated the other tips just to save you watching me top coating them. And then we can move on into the last step, adding the snow into them. Because that will make a biggest difference, like it will just finish off the design. Like I do apply the top coat always over those metal bits and pieces. Um, I don't know. I think the main reason is I'm always scared they might change the color, they might scratch or something. So um, I just always top coat it and this way they last perfect. Top coat the gemstone because the gel has inhibition layer and you don't want that. And then cook it. When my tips are cooking, we are going to prepare the last bit. So that's the snow. And for snow, we are going to use the white French gel, which can be used without of top coat, okay? Because this is a question which I get a lot, a lot. Um, this gel is okay to be used with no top coat. 
I wouldn't do it with the gel polish. I would be too scared. It is not strong enough and it might not last. So I'm just picking up a small scoop of this gel and then we are going to paint some snow in here. So basically what you want to do it is just go really kind of messy wee dots. Basically, I'm trying to paint a line made out of the dots. You can do it on some other branches like this, even almost creating a new branches which didn't exist like here. I had no branch and now I have created a branch. Then take a snow effect sugar. and just sprinkle it. You have to make sure the top coat is cured really properly, otherwise the sugar might stick into some bits and pieces where you've got the top coat. Tap it in for excess. It looks messy, but once it's cured, we can clean it up and it will look really nice and pretty. Just repeat the same process here. See how ugly this branch is here, you know? And then by adding those snow over it, it will look amazing. I'm trying to don't hide too much of those green. I'm kind of more creating a new branches. Sprinkle. So you can also see it that I'm not losing any product. Um, all the product is really recycled. <laughs> and uh, I find that this is the easiest the best technique to apply the sugar. A branch in here, branch in there. That's so pretty. You know, sometimes those small details uh, make a huge difference, like these branches were looking quite ugly. <laughs> um, you know, it was like they just don't belong in there. And then by adding those snow, they are nice and pretty. Don't you think, cameraman? It changed a lot, isn't it? Oh gosh, hold it promptly. Okay, and now let's see the, all the final results and place it into our beautiful display. And since you guys asked me a lot about the display, we got the displays for you as well. Uh, they are on our website. And I'm going to take you, um, give you a quick tip. So the display has like some sort of it looks almost like a material and eventually after you use it, it like for, you know, I had mine for maybe three years, <laughs> it did stain. And um, if I had some dirt like uh, with the gel polish, because maybe it wasn't cured underneath, I would um, clean it with the blue scrub and it was okay, it was coming off, but eventually I have made like almost a hole in there from cleaning it. So what I did with this one, I took a gel polish, which was 168, that was a sparkly uh, sparkly gel polish, and I have just painted it and then applied the top coat over it. And this um, this case, this display is, um, uh, is just painted gel polish over it, and it still looks okay. So if you damage this part, eventually after a couple of years of use, you can easily uh, just paint it with the gel polish. That is a tip for you. Okay, so this one is finished. Uh, just grab the brush, and remove the excess of the sugar so the tip looks nice and cleaner. And I love the snowflake. Oh, that's a perfect view now. Uh, the encapsulated snowflake look absolutely amazing. Okay, so place this one here. I think it's one of my favorite ones. It's so pretty. Then we've got another one. Remove the excess of it. And you can see it is nice and clean. Let's do it this one here. 
this one there. This one is just normal. I mean, it's nice, but it's just nothing wow. And the one with the snowflake again, clean the excess. And this one is quite pretty too. Let me get it at the right angle. There we are. Oh, that's a good angle. <laughs> I like the bow as well. Um, so this way you know how to create the... We could actually add some more branches on the bottom to fill it up, but that's so elegant. Like, you know, it's really pretty and elegant set of the nails. And you can do it on the ring finger, middle finger, or um, I wouldn't do it on a full set. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit those like button. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. I'm sending you all glittery hugs and bye for now.